Today, I'm going to be showcasing FuelPulse's asset management and tracking feature. This feature allows you to manage customer asset information as well as photos. You can also attach these to FuelPulse's maintenance agreements. First and foremost, you'll want to make sure that this feature is enabled underneath your company settings in features and plugins. And if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see the asset tab here and you'll want to make sure to enable it. Once you've completed this, you will see the assets tab populate underneath the management section. If we click into the assets tab here, you'll notice at the top a couple different tabs. So it's always going to default to all, which will showcase all the assets you have. If you'd like to look at only ones that have been installed, if you'd like to look at only ones that are uninstalled, retired, or templates, you can always filter through these tabs. For today's purpose, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new asset. We'll go ahead and give this asset a title. You can always save these as templates if you plan to reuse them. Over here, you can select the status. So I'm going to go ahead and select installed in use. Over here, you'll notice we have two types that you can select from. The first is a customer asset. So this will live underneath your customer record. Or if you want to maintain internal, you can click the company assets. Over here, you can select the company um, or the customer name. This will um, link this asset to this particular customer. As I mentioned before, we do have the ability to attach these to maintenance agreements if you so choose. Here, you can create an asset tag. So maybe it's a number. Over here, you can include a physical address or just an area. So if you wanted to put upstairs, you could do so here. And then the installation date. So maybe this was installed on November 2nd of 2021. Scrolling right along. So all the information you see below this point is not mandatory. Um, the equipment detail here. So underneath this category section, this is a dynamic field, meaning if you've created a category in the past, it will populate so you don't have to recreate it. But if you're creating a brand new one, it will automatically save for future use. So let's just say we are going to create one for an air conditioner. You can put the manufacturer here. You can put the model, model tracking number, model details, serial number, and model year. Scrolling right down, you can include warranty information. So if you know that the warranty expires in a few years, you can always select that and click into that. And in any, in any information around the warranty you'd like to include can be done so right there. Right here, you can include the condition of the particular asset. So maybe this is fair. And then if you'd like to include any issues, you can include that right here. So you can also include notes. You can attach pictures, files, anything related to that asset that you'd like to keep track of right here. Once everything looks correct, we can go ahead and save this asset right here. Once saved, again, you can always create a maintenance agreement from, from this record. Underneath this action tab here, we can attach a file, we can duplicate it, we can archive this, we can always edit by clicking into here. If we were to go to the particular customer record and we scrolled up to the very top underneath assets and we clicked here, we'll notice that this has been populated based off of the one we just created. If we scroll over here and we clicked back into the asset tab, again, you'll see the one we just created right here. You'll see the status. Once you start to accumulate a lot more, you can always filter this here. Um, you can run reports off of this. Um, but all in all, this is the new assets tool. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much.